located in the confluence of the rivers of Goa and Bassa. Alcabasa contains testimonies of human occupation dating back to the Paleolithic era. Visiting the region is most enriching, a monastery classified as World Heritage and Wonder of Portugal. A rich architecture going back to the Roman Empire. The National Museum of Wine. The medieval village of Aljubarrota. Rich and varied gastronomy. The natural park of Serras d'Aire and Candeiros. And the remarkable natural beauty with beaches and woods. The history of Alcubasa is linked to the nearly 700 years long presence of the Cistercian Order. According to legend described in the 18th century tiles, the foundation of the monastery of Alcubasa is bound to a promise made by the first king of Portugal. If God would help him to conquer Santarém from the Moors, he would donate the lands that could be seen from Albardo's mountains to the Order of Saint Bernard. One of the most important European Cistercians abbeys was thus built in a place of rare beauty. Since its foundation in 1153, the monastery of Alcobasa became the order's motherhouse in Portugal. It is the prime example of the early national Gothic architecture, still maintaining from that period the church's three naves, the dormitory, the refectory, and the cloister of King Dinij. These well-preserved medieval premises make this monastery a worldwide unique site. In addition to the architectural and artistic value of the building, the monastery is also culturally relevant. The first monastic schooling in Portugal was given by Cistercian monks in 1269. Most of the Portuguese medieval codices were written within its walls, as well as the biggest historical study on Portugal. At the time of the monastery abandonment by the monks in October 1833, the village was no more than a small cluster of houses and a few inhabitants. Today, Alcobasa is a city that thrives without forgetting its historical legacy. Besides the monastery, it is worth visiting the city's historical center with various romantic chalets, the churches and the castle's ruins. An important village of the lands of Alcobasa, the first written reference to Mayorga can be found in the village charter of 1303. Mayorga was given its foral in 1454. King Manuel I renewed its powers through the foral of 1514. The village pillory dates back to this period. The biggest Cistercian barn was located in Mayorga and between the 13th and the 15th century, the farm of Mallorca was an agriculture school. The village also boasts a rich architecture, beautiful landscapes and fertile soils. The monastery of Santa Maria of Koz is placed in one of the oldest settlements of the lands of Alcbasa. Founded on April 20, 1279 by the abbot of Alcbasa, the monastery was promoted as a regular abbey in the early 16th century. According to legend, the construction sites of the monastery was the place where widows washed the vests of the monks of Alcbasa near the riverside of Koz. However, the early days of this religious community are poorly known. In the 15th century, the monument became one of the richest female monasteries of the Portuguese Cistercian order. The church and sacristy 
with its annexes and the remains of the dormitory and the barn, constitutes a remarkable set of artistic creations that reflect their Baroque artistic splendor, as well as the wealth and the greatness of the community. The remarkable coffered ceiling covering the nave, the choir, and the sacristy make up a unique case among the Cistercian Abbey of Portugal and Spain. It also presents a beautiful coat of blue and white tiles from around 1715. The church is divided by a cloistered grid made in gold carving. The main altar shows a sculpture of the Holy Family in the Tribune. The choir has built-in stalls of the late 17th centuries with 92 seats. On the choir stands a manual in store, composed of two armillary spheres, royal arms and a holy cross. In the sacristy, lined with blue and white tiles, there are ten panels with scenes of St. Bernard's life. The panel's iconographic source is Antonio Stempesti's Vita et Miracle Don Bernardi Quaravalensi Zabatis, printed in Rome in 1587. The church was classified as a public interest building in 1946. Framed in a rural landscape and keeping its authenticity, the surrounding space is being prepared for rehabilitation works. Concerned about the enjoyment of the monument, the municipality acquired the properties that surrounded the church and began the recovery works in three phases. The current phase is the release of monastic space from a typical buildings subsequent to the extinction of religious orders. After in-depth archaeological research to study the former monastery structure and the everyday lives of the religious community. And finally, proper appreciation of the monument according to the research results by creating new areas of cultural enjoyment for public visitors and the local community. One of the projects to be considered is the Welcome Center with the coffee and gift shops. As a parallel goal, the new facilities should promote the intangible local heritage. The works being carried out so far have redefined the space of the old yard of the monastery, which gave access to the church and it was where the local fair regularly took place. This space was thus returned to the community that has been using it for local festivities. We intend to organize exchanges at various levels and increase connections between Cistercian monasteries and cities, creating initiatives, common actions, and affirming the Cistercian heritage. Come learn more about the colonizing action of the white monks and discover the welcoming city of Alcvasa, as well as the Monastery of Kaj, a major icon of our region.